Hey everybody, it's Janie with the Red Doe Toys. We are in the car on our way to Toys R Us. For Fours Friday! Can everyone say yay? I've got yay. a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Actually, we just cruised by and the crowd isn't too bad at all. We're I still have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> We're gonna get some drinks. We'll see you on the flippity flop. Okay. It's 1120. We have just rolled up outside the store we like to refer to as Toy Saurus. And there are five guys standing out front. So it looks like we've dodged a huge crowd. Although, since there are five guys, we're hopeful and optimistic <laughs> that they're going to start selling burgers soon. We have Eliza Jane in the back seat and Britt, who is... Cloaked in shadow. Cloaked in shadow. Also taking down some juice. Oh that man. Here comes the rain again. You didn't say your line. Well no I didn't, but that's because it's pouring right now. Say your line! I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, the five guys have apparently been fed 30 minutes before midnight. And now they're multiplying. So Brian is off to stand in line and wait for Force Friday. There's the line. Five guys has become many more. Okay, so me and Britt and Eliza got out of the car, went to hang out with Brian in line. And suddenly, a really close lightning strike and lots of thunder. So we are back in the car. We only have about a minute until Toys R Us doors open. And we can go see what we can get. But me and Bert and Eliza are going to hang out in the car here for just a minute. It doesn't look like the line's moving yet. Oh, fingers crossed we get something cool. And we're back with our haul from Toys R Us. Let's see what we got, guys. We got, it's a TIE Fighter. We've got the brand new first order TIE Fighter pilot with removable helmet. It's got a little blaster too, because you know, you need a blaster by your side. Let's uh, open her up and see what it looks like, guys. See, we've thing. got our pilot. Oh, you have to build it. We're going to have a little bit of assembly here. We've got our TIE Fighter cockpit, our two wings, and... These are torches. I need torches. All right, we've got our instructions. Let's figure out what we need to do here. As you can see, this actually goes together fairly quickly. For being such a large toy, just snaps in there like that. Most of these little extra bits here are flexible, so parents don't worry if your kids hit them, they won't. Um, um, and then touch the wings. Touch our wings, which uh, just pop on like. So, we've got... I think those are missiles. I think they're missiles or laser beams or something. But, there we go, and now we're going to pick our pilot out. And he's normal Star Wars action figure size, so he's like five, I think it's five inches, five and a half. He's, if you had like the old Kenner Star Wars figures, he's the same... He's the same scale as those guys. So. Okay, we'll go ahead and put his blaster in his hand. And then put his helmet And then on. slip his TIE pilot helmet on with his chest plate that mommy, makes him look like a hey, mommy, budget mommy, Darth Vader. Again, no. That's right, we do have another toy to open after this one. He's excited because the TIE fighter's his. Major. 
You can play with that bit. We've got a speeder bike with Poe Dameron, new character from the new movie. And he's in 12 inch scale. So he'll fit in well with, you know, your Barbies if you want to move all your Star Wars figures into your Barbie dream house, for example. Yeah. I make that joke because our admirable camera person back there moved her Ewoks into the Barbie dream house as a kid. Oh, Alright, oh we're going to move TIE Fighter to over. Uh, this also... Now, this one is maybe not quite as, uh... Frustration free. This one's a little more difficult package than the, uh... Than the TIE Fighter, but... TIE Fighter we're, uh, two We'll take our figure loose first, and he's hard plastic. Although it appears his uh, the bottom of his jacket here has got a little flex to it. Yeah. It is molded on, yeah, doesn't come off. As you can see he's wearing, you know, a Rebel Alliance or whatever they're called now. I can't actually remember because I haven't seen the movie yet, obviously. But he's got his pilot's helmet on. And then he's got the major components of our speeder bike here. Awesome. You realize once you start getting this assembled just how large it actually is. It's a... And this is a substantial toy. Hands on to the uh, handles here. The handles are flexible, his hands are not. So, parents, if you wind up with one of these, just be warned when your kids are playing with it that uh, they may struggle a little bit. You may have to help. Right. Oh, we forgot to uh, forgot to install our seat belt here to make sure that you know he's safely belted in. Look at safety first. Here we go. Ready? You can put them together. Poe riding his speeder bike. Not flying this one through the forest moon of Endor. It's you know flying through our kitchen at 12:40 in the morning, but still fun. Eliza, what do you think? I like it. Do you like that he's in scale with your uh, Barbie? Figures? Yes. So you can he can play with your Barbies? Yes. You can dress Barbie up as Princess Leia? Yeah. Um, I have to say the new packaging is really nice. The uh, all the graphics are kind of unified for both the new movie and the old movie. You've got these really nice helpful graphics for assembling these things, which is nice. And then you're gonna take your figure out there, there we go. There he is. All right, now we also have a couple of surprises here that uh, these two don't know about yet. Let's put your uh, put your speeder bike down. I felt like you needed you you needed something to really be prepared for the movie. So I've got two of these, and I'm going to let you guys pick which one you want. What's your green or blue? Pick a color. Um, blue. You cool with green? Yeah. All right. There you go. Awesome lightsabers. That's right. We we went we went old school with uh, lightsabers here. What These are the new Blade Builders set, which, as you can see, the uh, bottoms are hollow because you can actually get the uh, connector pieces that allow you to connect multiple sabers together and make a double lightsaber. Make a a, a Darth Maul Darth Maul style uh, double saber if you wanted to, or you can. Like, if you put three together, that'd be awesome. But as you can see, this is very clearly Luke's Return of the Jedi can I saber. Have it? Looks very similar to uh, Obi Wan Kenobi's. I want to have it. I want to have yeah. it. There we go. There see, you go. blade extended. These don't light up. They're not, you know, they're not like they don't make cool noises. You have to provide the cool noises yourself. But um, as you can see, these are the big one. a little stiff from being brand new. There you go. And then Eliza also has one that does make noise. This came from a, this actually came from Star Tours at a Disney's Hollywood Studios. This one's a lot bigger, and the cool thing is it lights up and makes noise and is generally well constructed, well assembled. I don't know if you can see that. 
it does in fact light up and if you swing it around it does make noise. This is, like I said, this one came from Hollywood Studios. They have the build your own lightsaber After center and Eliza put that together. But this is Anakin's. Yep. As you can see, nice blue blade. These don't have uh, belt clips on them like some of the some of the older ones that were like this did. So you could you know clip them on your the clip them on your belt, but these don't. These are mainly just you know. Right the button. These are mainly just you know for playing. That did see while I was there. They do have Nerf ones that are also compatible with the same system that have good foam blades on them that you know you could actually stage a lightsaber duel in your backyard with, but. We, we opted for these just because the kids needed their own lightsabers, and I'm going to be honest, at 31, I'm kind of a sucker for classic lightsabers, too. Anyway, that's our look at some, just some of the Star Wars The Force Awakens toys that came to us live this morning, 1201 Force Friday. I'm sure there's a lot more out there, and you'll probably see some more as we uh, add to our collection, but thanks for watching Red Dead Toys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click in the comments below, tell us what you think, let us know what you got. Let, if you went out to Toys R Us or Target or Walmart at some ungodly hour to get Star Wars toys, let us know what you got. Tell us what you think so far. Tell us what you think about the toys we got. Just get, give us a shout, be sure to hit like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up too if you would. We appreciate you watching. Eliza, you want to say bye? Bye! We'll see you next time!